Meghan Markle risked the death knell of her relationship with Prince Harry Duchess drive a wedge in it with an unprecedented interview, claimed royal author Angela Levin. The Duchess of Sussex has been tipped to restart her lifestyle blog The Tig. Meghan ran the popular blog before she married Prince Harry, but shut it down shortly before they married. She reportedly renewed the trademark for the closed blog in 2019, raising the prospect she could relaunch the successful platform. The wedding of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle was held on 19 May 2018 in St George's Chapel at Windsor Castle in the United Kingdom. The groom, Prince Harry, is a member of the British royal family, the bride, Meghan Markle, is American and previously worked as an actress, blogger, and charity ambassador and advocate. Royal expert Neil Sean said on YouTube that the Sussexes think now would be a very good time to kickstart the TIG, citing a very good source. He claimed the motivation behind the purported move is all thanks to Gwyneth Paltrow. Her Goop wellness brand, which has made the actress more money than her Hollywood career, according to Mr. Sean. Meghan's advisers reportedly think she could easily eclipse Ms. Paltrow. Prior to stepping down as senior working royals, Mr. Sean claimed the Sussexes would not have been able to do the blog. The return of the TIG would clearly indicate Meghan finding her voice again, a theme she emphasized in the couple's interview with Oprah Winfrey. Former Suits actress Meghan retired from acting upon her marriage to Harry in 2018, having filmed seven seasons of the American legal drama. She was no stranger to being in the limelight, regularly giving interviews during her time on the hit show. One such interview in 2017, by which point her and Harry's relationship was public knowledge, risked being a death knell for the relationship, according to Royal Lothar Ms. Levin. She wrote in her book Harry, Conversations with the Prince, it was unprecedented for a royal girlfriend to be so outspoken and it could have been the death knell for their relationship. The general view was that she would never have given the interview without Harry's consent. She claimed, official palace sources dodged the question of whether Harry approved or not of her interview by merely saying he was aware of it. Perhaps Meghan took him by surprise when she confessed about the interview but shrewdly picked her time carefully and, besotted as he was, he accepted what she'd said. Meghan gave an interview to Vanity Fair magazine in 2017, before she was engaged to Harry. She offered an insight into how press intrusion had affected her. She gave a later interview with the magazine around the broadcast of the 100th episode of Suits. In the interview, she opened up on the relationship with Harry, and said, We're a couple, we're in love. There will be a time when we have to come forward and present ourselves. But this is our time. This is for us. It's part of what makes it so special. The Queen, meanwhile, has been urged to strip Meghan of her Duchess title by Republican Congressman Jason Smith. Meghan penned a powerful, heartfelt letter to American politicians last week, calling for paid leave for all new parents in the U.S. In the letter, which she wrote as a mom and not an elected official, recalled her own childhood and addressed the sacrifice working Americans must make not just in pursuit of the American dream, but simply the dream of stability. The Duchess wrote, no family should have to choose between earning a living and having the freedom to take care of their child. Congressman Smith told the Daily Mail, Ms. Markle's latest interference in U.S. politics reignites the question in my mind as to why the royal family does not simply strip her and Harry officially of their titles, particularly since she insists on sending this under the pretense of being the Duchess of Sussex. He had previously called for the Sussexes to be stripped of their titles over comments made during the U.S. election when they encouraged Americans to vote. Meghan finished the letter by saying it is about putting families above politics. She wrote, So, on behalf of my family, Archie and Lily and Harry, I thank you for considering this letter, and on behalf of all families, I ask you to ensure this consequential moment is not lost.